barriers to cross. All I have in common with the uncontrollable and the insane, the vicious and the evil, all the mayhem I have caused and my utter indifference toward it, I have now surpassed. Just another one of those frauds from the television. Teresa Caputo, the Long Island Medium. Look her up. You can look up her TV program. You can see what she does. And you will find it's cold reading and heavily edited. That's the mode for TV programs. They record an awful lot of footage. Most of it ends up on the cutting room floor, so to speak. And only the fairly good material gets onto TV and therefore is, well, disproportionately positive. So people think, oh, well, the Long Island medium, Teresa Caputo, must be a really great medium. And then she goes on to talk shows and does a little demonstration and fails. Yeah. When they're not in control of what's shown, they fail epically. When you can spot the cold reading at work, they fail. When there is any editing of a so-called genuine psychic or spiritual message or reading, I think that's when they fail. If they were genuine, if they were real, these big TV psychics and mediums, then they would not need to edit shit. If they were truly impressive, why would they cut stuff out? They could use it all. They could make many programs using the material or simply have it as extra material on the DVDs you can buy of, or, you know, Blu-ray or whatever of various shows. People would be like, wow, impressive. You could take it to scientists and confirm a thing to be true. As it is, in reality, they're nowhere near that efficient. So they have to edit most of the bullshit from their TV shows. There are no more barriers to cross. All I have in common with the uncontrollable and the insane, the vicious and the evil. All the mayhem I have caused, and my utter indifference toward it, I have now surpassed. 